Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. In this video today guys, we are taking another look at VeChain and specifically the price action of the VET token. Guys, as we get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, you guys know what to do. Hit the like button, I really appreciate that. If you are new, make sure you've subscribed, tap the bell, select all notifications and you will not miss another update. Right, with all that said, out of the way, done. Let's get into some technical analysis here for VeChain. Um, so we're going to start things off with VeChain here paired with USDT on Binance as a data source with uh, the weekly chart. Now, um, really want to kind of just point out, like I do always, 18,295% uh, in one year. So from March 2020 uh, through to the high in April here of 2021. That was a significant increase on the price of VeChain. Um, so it's always good to call them out nice and low and uh, obviously see where things are going. But obviously we haven't finished yet and we have still got progress to make. Uh, we are in recovery and things are looking very, very good for VeChain. Um, so I think this is gonna be a good weekend, uh, technically speaking. And I think the price action is going to follow that as well. So um, good progress so far. I know many are frustrated with the price action of VeChain, but really want to point out that it has performed incredibly well. It's one of the better ones out there um, from a return on investment perspective. Um, obviously, it depends on where you come in. If you're buying in at the top of wave three, uh, then there were some fantastic opportunities to dollar cost average better positions during this fourth wave correction. But even if you bought at the top of wave three, uh, there is significant gains to be made as we push the price uh, of VeChain up to significant highs. We are targeting a dollar, so there's plenty of gains to be made. It comes in uh, a little bit short of the 10x now, um, but there is still multiplications on your investment to be had. Okay, right. With all that said and done, uh, what else can we see here on this a weekly chart? Well, we can see that the stochastic is not quite overbought, but it's definitely heading there. So progress is definitely underway. And again, we take a look at how long it actually took to take us from an oversold area to an overbought area uh, during the third wave. It actually happened pretty quick, around the same kind of time. And the pattern are looking pretty interesting right we had a few candles up we had a couple of red candles and then we continue this motion right we basically have to go up in little stages here uh, as we kind of step our way up to the top and um, this will be the same for our fifth wave we'll have little corrections on the journey as we go up to a dollar okay uh, and again it is possible that we do blast past that and go over extending and all that kind of good stuff but um Technically speaking, it's about a dollar is where we kind of see things really peaking out. Now, um, let's jump down into our daily because this particular project has some interesting technicals appearing now, okay? Um, so here we've seen we've been trading sideways, right? There's a bit of a decline, I guess, or you could say on our um, our daily chart, right? So there's a decline here, um, but there's also an upward trend from the lower area, right? We're setting new uh, lower or higher lows, right? Basically higher lows and uh lower highs right but basically this is a triangular wedge that then starts to form right so we can see that there's a triangular wedge that forms in here and this is going to be the catalyst that you need to see us actually kind of get wedged in and then blast to the upside okay so vchain is getting geared up ready for a big big move okay and it's going to surprise a lot of people um, but ultimately we're going to be in this yellow box area here uh, really really soon i do feel and uh, i think vchain is going to be working very very well um, when it goes up there so if everything's looking pretty good from that kind of perspective now the next thing that we want to talk about is obviously how the correction is going, right? Because we can see that we're oversold now on our stochastic relative strength index. So um, during this sideways trade, we can see that we're now actually down at 11.6. Uh, we actually got all the way down to 4.5. Um, so incredibly oversold, right? But this means that we have a lot of room to now grow back to the upside and take advantage of uh, this bull run as we go into the next leg, right? And this is going to take us past this yellow box area, okay? So everything on VeChain is definitely gearing up quite nicely on this daily chart. Uh, here we can obviously see the Fibonacci uh, retracement tool with the extension of the 1.618, 2.618, 3.618, and the 4.236. Okay, so 42 cents, uh, 64 cents, 87 cent, and of course that $1, one cent. Those are the price targets, right? Um, but obviously in order to allow for that to happen, we obviously have to get past this yellow box area here. And I'm most importantly, getting a closed candle above 21 and a half cent is going to be key move um, for VeChain. I think from there, we'll just blast straight past these other and then obviously be able to move straight on into the price discovery. Um, so VeChain is definitely going to have this kind of explosive action. It's going to take people by surprise. Um, after all, people uh, often have their misconceptions about this project and do not fully understand what is going on and why it works the way that it does. Now, ultimately, it has a lot of progress to be had. It's got a lot of resistance still fight through. Um, but progress will happen and it will be very, very powerful when it starts get going. Uh, very few things will be able to stop it. Now, ultimately, I do feel that V 
VeChain should be a top 10 cryptocurrency with everything that it is doing in the world. Um, and I think eventually it will get there, right? Once it's actually recognized and, uh, you know, is respected for what it is doing. Right now, I think a lot of people misunderstand what VeChain is. Um, and obviously they, they have a lot of misconceptions about it. And I think that actually hurts the project quite a bit. So I'd like to think that, you know, in the future, 2025, 2030, um, people will actually start respecting VeChain for everything that they are doing. Um, but with that being said, the daily chart's looking very nice. Everything's gearing up for a big move to the upside. Uh, when we take a look at the hourly, okay, um, we'll take a look. We can see here we're in a very similar situation to what is going on with our daily, right? We're over oversold, right? 15.3 at the moment. Uh, and we can take a look, right? We is obviously this downward trend line. Then there is an upward trend line coming in. So we're just getting this triangular wedge where we're going to see this explosion. Now, timing is going to be really hard to kind of gauge. We take a look at where we've been and where we are right now. It looks like we found good support line and just in here so this area over here was our support we follow that all the way through here and this is where we're currently bouncing from so this could be the bounce that we need to see and we take this steady motion to the upside uh, and things you know will not move necessarily in straight lines until everything is ready to go and then we blast straight on through now obviously with this decrease here we're going to get wedged into a triangular wedge and um, where we'll basically end up with an explosion to the upside so everything on um v chain is looking very very good at the moment on pretty much all of these different levels right the weekly is definitely gearing up for pretty good moves we can see that we're also now up in the overbought area and we can also see that the daily is heavily corrected ready for its next step to the upside after a bit of a correction that we've been calling out and requiring we can see the same thing being done here on our hourly chart right we can see the price action nothing ever moves in straight lines and um, so we have the correction we push back up correction we push back up correction right and this is where we then start to see the absolute explosion a break from the trend right so very very good stuff has been going on although it can be frustrating at times when it doesn't appear to be doing anything and then you compare to other projects one of the worst things that i've ever done is try to chase the money it's best to actually have a good strategy up front and then just adhere to it unless something fundamentally changed about that strategy or the project or something like that um, ultimately the strategy uh, stays in place and I do not chase the money I will not move from one project to another unless there is a good reason to do so we've only done it once on the channel and that was from reef to anchor and that was a strategic play um, to basically you know protect the portfolio from the incoming doom that was um, you know reef and actually we made a very good decision found a cryptocurrency that was doing really well those those situations are incredibly rare right uh, instead you tend to lose money if you chase the money if, you, if you're chasing from one project to another you will tend to lose money rather than make it it's better to be patient and play out the strategy that you have put in place and in the case of vchain i know it can seem frustrating um, but it's going to be making some very very big moves very very soon so everything on this chart is looking very very good when we actually jump back up into our daily here and we talk about, you know, what kind of progress is to still come this year. Well, we'd actually take a look at that price discovery. We are still talking about moving up 716% from the current position to that dollar level. Okay. So huge amounts of gains are still to come here for VeChain. And, uh, you know, I think it's just about our being patient as all the technicals are now lining up and again, their VeChain is getting ready for their next move. Hopefully guys, you have found this video, uh, although brief uh, update on VeChain, useful and informative. Do prepare. Uh, I think we're going to see some interesting gains in the next little while here for vchain if you have found it useful hit the like button i appreciate that if you are new to the channel then do go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and you won't miss another vchain update guys with that said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one